As usual, the time flies by, and it's time to go over the solution to weekly math challenge 31. I had a very fun time coming up with this question, and I hope you guys enjoyed solving it just as much as I did in creating this question. And before I show you two separate solutions to this, I want to recognize Shiban Bis. Bisesar, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, Shiban Bisesar, who was the very first person to correctly answer this question with the answer of 2018. A huge, huge congratulations. Now, the two methods I'm going to show you in solving this, solving this pretty intimidating integral at first sight is using a gamma function. So that's the first method I'm going to show you. And I think it's the method that most of you who correctly answered this question employed when you were attempting this. And the second way I'm going to show you is the one using gamma distribution. And this one is straightforward as well. And there are other ways of doing it, such as using integration by part. There is a way of solving this using integration by part. But really, gamma function and its properties can be derived using integration by part. So if you use gamma function, you are implicitly using the properties of gamma function that you can prove using integration by part. So in the end, your first, first solution and third solution are in, in some sense the same, except the first one is much quicker because the result of integration by part is hidden within the gamma function. And if you do not, if you do not know what gamma function is, I highly recommend you check out one of my videos that introduce gamma function and prove some of the properties of it. So you can click on this eye that should be popping up here-ish to go to my video that in which I introduce and show you some interesting properties of gamma function. Now, with that out of the way, now let's actually try solving this integral. To begin with, I see this x to the alpha minus 1 and e to the negative x over 2018, and I say that looks very, very similar to gamma function. And if you know, gamma function is defined as gamma of alpha is equal to integral from 0 to infinity of u to the alpha minus 1 times e to the negative u du. And in fact, we have x to the alpha minus 1, just as we have u to the alpha minus, alpha minus 1 right there. And we have e to the negative x over 2018, and that's pretty close to e to the negative u. So the natural substitution to make is u equals to x over 2018, one, because we want to change this x over 2018 to u. And the second reason is because I see this 1 over 2018 residing right below. And we know if we let u be x over 2018, our du is going to be dx over 2018, differentiating this. So we have this nice 1 over 2018 dx waiting for us. So that seems like a logical choice to make, letting u be x over 2018. So now let's see how this integral is going to change. So we have, we have natural log, and we have summation from alpha equals to 1 to infinity. And since we are, we have dx going on, we can treat this alpha minus 1 factorial squared as a constant that those, that's independent of x. So let's bring this outside the integral. So let me bring the alpha minus 1 factorial squared outside this integral. And we have integral from 0 to infinity of x to the alpha minus 1 e to the negative x over 2018 over 2018 dx. And now let's make this substitution, u equals to x over 2018. So we have natural log of this summation. And we have integral from this thing was from x equals to 0 to infinity. When x is equal to 0, our u is going to be 0, because 0 over 2018 is 0. And when x is infinity, our u is also going to be infinity. So the bounds are going to stay the same. And we know our x, just rearranging this equation, we know our x is 2018 times u. So we have 2018 u to the alpha minus 1 times e to the negative u, x over 2018 is u, that's intentional, that's what we wanted to have, e to the negative u, and we have dx over 2018, which is du, and we have du. Now, 
we can get this 2018 to the alpha minus 1 outside. So let's do, let's do so. So we have natural log of the summation and 1 over alpha minus 1 factorial squared. And we can also get 2018 to the alpha minus 1 outside. And we have integral from 0 to infinity of u to the alpha minus 1, u to the alpha minus 1, e to the negative u du. And what is this integral? Integral from negative integral from 0 to infinity of u to the alpha minus 1 times e to the negative u. Well, that's precisely gamma of alpha. So we have our gamma function right there. That's gamma of alpha. So we have natural log of summation for alpha equals 1 to infinity. We have 2018 to the alpha minus 1 over alpha minus 1 factorial squared. And we have the gamma function, gamma of alpha. And if you know, if you have studied gamma function before, you know gamma of alpha is equal to alpha minus 1 factorial. And again, if you, do, if you were not aware of this, I highly recommend you click on this eye and watch my video to discover why gamma of alpha is alpha minus 1 factorial. And in fact, you can use integration by parts to prove this. So really, even if you are unacquainted with gamma function, if you're really good at integration by parts and pattern recognition, you can use that to show that this thing is actually going to be alpha minus 1 factorial by the, trying to integrating this by parts. So really, even if you did not know what gamma function is, this problem is still possible. But I'd be very impressed if you answer this question correctly without using the gamma function. That's pretty impressive if you were not aware of this. Anyway, so we know gamma of alpha is alpha minus 1 factorial. So that's alpha minus 1 factorial. So we have alpha minus 1 factorial squared down below. We have alpha minus 1 factorial that we are multiplying to it. So we have natural log of the summation, 2018 to the alpha minus 1. And we are simply going to have 1 alpha minus 1 factorial. And here we go. Now what is this? What is this going to be? Well, that's 2018 to the 0 power when alpha is equal to 1 over 0 factorial plus 2018 to the first power when alpha is equal to 2 over 1 factorial plus 2018 to the second power over 2 factorial plus 2018 to the third power over 3 factorial, and so on. And you may recognize this as a particular value of the Taylor series, of the Taylor series of e to the x from calculus 2. And you may remember that e to the x is x to the 0 over 0 factorial, plus x to the 1st over 1 factorial, plus x squared over 2 factorial, plus x cubed over 3 factorial, and so on. And obviously, in this case, our x is 2018. So this entire thing is e to the 2018th power. So our answer is 2018. So this is a fun way of answering this question using gamma function. Now I promised you I was going to show you the second method using gamma distribution. So let me show you how to do so. And you may you may be familiar with some probability distribution and especially the continuous ones. So you may be aware of the normal probability distribution or uniform probability distribution or exponential or beta or particularly gamma distribution. And you may know that the probability distribution for gamma distribution is f of x is equal to 1 over alpha minus 1 factorial data to the alpha power times x to the alpha minus 1 times e to the negative x over data for x between 0 and infinity. For x between 0 and infinity, if I can correctly write that down. And if you're acquainted with probability distribution function, so this is gamma probability distribution, this is gamma probability distribution, you know the area under the probability distribution corresponds to the actual probability. So in this case, since our sample space is between 0 and infinity, you know the area from 0 to infinity under this probability distribution has to be 1. So you know this area, you know this area 
is equal to 1 because area under probability distribution has to be 1 when you look at the entire area because the entire area represents the entire, the sum of the every single possible probabilities, which has to be 1. And you may realize that our integral looks very close to gamma probability distribution. So let me just focus on this integral. So let me write that down. We had integral from 0 to infinity x to the alpha minus 1 e to the negative x over 2018 over 2018 alpha minus 1 factorial squared dx. So let's compare these two. So in our case, our data, our data was 2018. So if we want to have this, have this thing, so if we can somehow make the inside of the integral to be the something equal, something equal to this, then you know the that integral is going to evaluate to be one. So this is one technique that you can utilize. So we want to have this thing appear inside our integral. So is that possible? So let's try to do so. So in our case, we have data being 2018. So we want to have, so we want to have x to the alpha minus 1, e to the negative x over 2018. We have those. But we need alpha minus 1 factorial and data to the alpha power. And in our case, data is 2018. So we have to have alpha minus 1 factorial and 2018 to the alpha power, alpha power dx. And we realize we ha we are using up one alpha minus one factorial, so the other one has to go away. So let's get the other one outside. And we used to have 2018, and now we have 2018 to the alpha. So we multiply the bottom of this integral by 2018 to the alpha minus one, because we used to have 2018 to the first power. Now we multiply by 2018 to the alpha minus one to get 2018 to the alpha. So we have to multiply the top by the same thing. So we know we have 2018 to the alpha minus one outside. So let me just make sure this thing is clear. So we have 2018 to the alpha minus one over alpha minus one factorial. And we have this, we have this probability distribution of the gamma, gamma distribution. And you know, the area under this probability distribution over its sample space from zero to infinity is one. So you know this entire integral is one, and we are back to 2018 to the alpha minus one over alpha minus one factorial, and we can get the same answer as we just did. So I wanted to mention that. So those were the two ways you could have attacked this question. Or if you're particularly brave and you, you did not know about gamma function, you can use integration by parts to show that the gamma function or this, this particular integral was in fact equal to alpha minus one factorial. I want to mention one more thing. Realize that this thing does not have to be 2018. Instead of 2018, we can replace this thing with, let's say, 10,000. And we can replace the bottom with 10,000. And we can just make the appropriate substitution. Instead of x over 2018, we could have done x over 10,000 and go through the same steps to get that the summation was equal to e to the 10,000th power. So our answer would have been 10,000. So in fact, for any, for any value of k, so for any value of k, so let me go back just a bit. So for the any value of k that you may have right there, for any positive value of k, I should say, so for any positive value of k that you have right here and right here, our entire thing is going to evaluate to be k. Anyway, the answer to this question is 2018, and I hope you enjoyed this integral.